question 6A, May, June 2015, paper 4, variant 3. This question here is about angles in a polygon, parallel ang angles here as well, or parallel lines here as well. And we've got to find a particular angle which we cannot find, which is angle EFA. First thoughts says it's a hexagon, so you're thinking about angles in polygons. However, after a few minutes, you realize that hold on, we've got three angles that we don't know, and there's no relation between them, like they didn't tell us that they're equal, or you don't know those values, so you can't use angles in a hexagon for this. So there we think, okay, what can we do? Well, they've given us these parallel lines. So obviously, they gave them for a reason, which is going to look nice with those arrows. So therefore, we have to think of something to do with these parallel lines. So some of some in relation to these parallel lines. Okay. Now, what we can do here is we can think, well, these are, these two are not parallel, so I can't say those are interior angles, for example, nor are these two. However, you've got this line, this angle F, um, EFA, which is the one you have to find. And one of the strategies when you're dealing with parallel lines and angles is you can do the following. You can draw another parallel line, okay, um, like this, going through the angle, so that's parallel now to the other pair of parallel lines, ED and AB. So this is parallel to those two lines. So now I can say, okay, the angle on this side here, in a different color, this angle here is going to be interior to the 120. These two angles add up to 180. This is like a C or a U shape, as they say, so the interior angles. So the angle here is going to be 180 minus 120, which is 60. So we've got half of the angle, or not half, we've got part of the angle, one part of the angle, now we've got to find this other part. So now, again, there's no relationship between these angles that we can find directly. However, what we could do is, we could do some filling around with the lines again. So, for example, I know that this line is parallel to that line. Okay, so I could um, continue this line on one point. In BC, I just continue on, and I'll continue AB along as well, okay, and I will continue AB along in the other direction also, so I'll take the line I drew here, and I'll extend it this way, okay, this might help us, let's have a look how that can help us, well, I know that it's angle EBC, and the angle down here, okay, these two angles, they make again a U shape, Okay, because these are two pair of parallel lines. So this angle here is going to be 40 degrees. And if that's 40 degrees, then I've got this angle here, which is also going to be 40 degrees, because you have like corresponding angles, like an F shape lying on its side. That's also 40 degrees. And then the angle we need, or part of the angle we need, angle over here, makes a Z shape. So the alternate angle with this 40 degrees, so that also must be. 40 degrees. Or you could say, we've made a parallelogram on we did this, so this angle and that angle are opposite sides in a parallelogram, so therefore they are equal. So, so that's 40, and that's 60. So the angle we need, which is EFA, the angle we need, which is EFA, is equal to 60 degrees plus 40 degrees, which is equal to 100 degrees. So that's 6 part A done. Okay?